With the kids out of the house, the childers were really looking forward to downsizing. Sometimes that means getting creative with your smaller spaces to make them work. This bedroom is a little smaller, I think, than your typical master bedroom, but the clients really wanted a king bed. And so what do you typically design with? Well, a lot of times I have an end table by the bed, but in this case, there wasn't a ton of space. So we had to get creative. These little wall shelves, I think, are a fun accent. But they're also practical. You can still put stuff on here, your books, your clock, but it doesn't take too much space up, and it really adds the character and charm in this room. You know, another thing I really like about this space are these sconces. What's great about these lights is that they don't take up a lot of room. So even if you were to have, you know, your typical end tables, sometimes a lamp can be bulky. Something like this just adds a little more interest. I love the reflection it makes off the wall, but it's very clean and simple and incorporated that touch of brass that I know my client really wanted. Last but not least is the bathroom. It's really small, but it's packed with a ton of character. There are some elements about it that are original that I really wanted to keep, mixed with some newer elements that still have that timeless look. On the ceiling, when we removed the drywall, it exposed the natural shiplap, but I didn't want the space to feel too old and dated, so I really updated it with some simple, timeless, classic fixtures. What I also love are the built-ins. The built-ins were original. I didn't want to tear those out. We just updated them with new hardware, but it's just a great space for storage. And again, it just adds to the story of this space. The Childers were recent empty nesters and they really wanted to downsize. So this cute little 1920s house was the perfect fit for them. When I spoke to Stacy about the design, the main thing she said was, I want just clean and simple spaces. She gave me two colors she likes, white and blue. And anytime anyone asks me for white, it's never a problem because it's my favorite color too. You know, one of the reasons why I love working with white spaces is because really any color you add to it really pops and really comes alive. These fresh flowers really make a statement. All these boxwoods up here, it's just a really clean, simple contrast, but it's also one of those rooms you can come in and you don't feel cluttered. Your mind can really rest, stay at ease because it's just a clean and simple space. You know, the challenge with an all-white room is still making it feel warm and inviting. The texture was really the play here in this room. Here with the fireplace, we had to add some brick here. But what I love about this is even though it's white, there is a lot of texture at play um, so that it still gives the room a lot of interest. I wrapped these books in different colored linen. Everything I decorated with, I really wanted to be a play on texture. But it's also still staying along the lines of clean and simple. In the Downs renovation, the age of the house gave it a lot of character, but also posed some interesting design challenges. So here in the master suite, the challenge here was, this was two bedrooms. There was no master bathroom and there was no large closet. So we ended up taking two small bedrooms and turning it into one large master suite. You know, I added some fun detail in here, some old shelving, architectural work that I think really ties into the age of the house. One of my favorite rooms in this house, though, is this master bathroom. Let's go check it out. So here in the master bathroom, I just love this classic play on color. We did a lot of black and white in here. We incorporated the shiplap that we found in the other rooms where we couldn't use it. We did it as a chair roll around, so it still felt like the time period of the house. But in here, we wanted to change it up a bit. I wanted to go with a black and white tile on the floor that cement. And what I love about this tile is it's super fun, but there's just a classic way about it. I wanted to go bold with the mirrors, so we did these really cool mirrors that they make a huge statement. And I think in a bathroom that has ceilings this high, why not go big with the mirrors? Another thing that I really love is we did a matte black cabinet at the base, and then we paired it with a brush brass knob and hardware, and I think it looks really good. I think what I love most, though, is that there's a timeless, classic way about it, but there's still some really unique design elements that we got to incorporate in here for our clients. Since the shotgun house originally had 700 square feet, that wasn't enough for the client, so we decided to go up and add a loft. Now there's an additional 400 square feet to this space, and up here it's really fun because you've got the best view at the entire shotgun house, but you also have a view to the backyard. It could be multi-purpose up here. You could have a bedroom up here, office, and even a living space. What I decided up here was to keep it very simple so that the elements of the house were the things that really stuck out. I love the railing, 
the fun industrial pendant lights. And then you've got some decorative sconces over here that really frame out this beautiful wood window. I found these really cool vintage suitcases, so I thought it'd be fun to play with the design up here. We ended up mounting these to the wall, so now they have a new purpose as shelves, and they also make a really cool statement. From the beginning, the tiny shotgun house had a lot of big challenges, but in the end, the reward was huge. I think every design element that we got to incorporate really stood out. We love this house, and we were so glad to be a part of the shotgun house. When I'm designing a kitchen, I always try to think about what elements I really want to stand out. In this client's kitchen, I started with just a very clean base. That's what they wanted. So we did white cabinets throughout, very simple, stunning backsplash behind me. But with all the white that we had layered in with the backsplash, the cabinets, and the countertop, there really needed to be that extra element of color. You know, one of the things you have to think about with a kitchen, when you're wanting to incorporate color, there's really not a ton of wall space you have to work with, which is why we wanted to do it on the island and the vent hood. If you don't want to do a paint color, you can also tie in reclaimed wood. The great thing about the island and the vent hood are these are their own units, so they can have their own character, let it all tie in, but then these two pieces can really be unique and different. Now when you step back and look at the space, it's very simple, it's very stunning, but it also has that contrast in color, which really adds a little more dimension to this space and makes it more interesting when you see it. In designing the Zans Master Suite, I really wanted to personalize the space to fit my client's Southwestern style. We achieved that distinctive look by keeping things clean but unique so it didn't feel too much like a theme. I love this Master Suite. We've got these brand new beautiful wood windows in here, but one of the things I really wanted to focus on was this accent wall. We had the cedar wood trimmed down. We added some stucco in here. This wall just adds a lot of texture and dimension in this space. Another thing I really like about this room are these hanging pendants. This is something, especially off of a wall like this, that adds even more dimension and more interest. Let's check out the master bathroom. You know, we really wanted to change things up here. Originally, everything was blue. Blue toilet, blue shower. We really wanted to lighten it up, update it. But on this vanity, I wanted to do something a little unique. I love these white oak cabinets. I love this really cool industrial hardware. But I think the coolest part about this is how this is elevated in the middle. So it's a practical countertop space, but there's also more storage. So this house really came alive in this renovation. We got to play a part in restoring this home for this family. It was a really big honor for me and Chip. The owner of this house is a young single guy, so I really wanted the design to not only suit his needs, but appeal to his more masculine style. You know, as I was designing a space, I was really trying to keep my client in mind. I wanted this space to feel like a bachelor pad, but I also wanted it to just be an inspiring space for him as well. This is just a really nice, functional space for my client, and what I like about it is that we did a lot of heavier colors in this room, they're darker, so anywhere I could do some open shelving to make it feel a little more light and airy, I think it was really important to implement that. You know, I really love these double islands. You has got this cool industrial sink, concrete countertops. I just feel like this is a great space for entertaining. A lot of the times when you have one large island, you've got to walk all the way around. So I think with this, even though this kitchen is really large, these two islands really help define the space. One of my other favorite things about the kitchen is the recessed ceiling above. A lot of the times in these older houses that we're doing renovations on, you see this recessed ceiling with fluorescent lighting in them. This is just a simple way to update that look. The reclaimed wood in here ties really well with all the open shelving and these islands. I just think this kitchen is a great balance of modern and ranch. There's not too much of either style, but I think it's just a really perfect blend. And I feel like even though we chose darker colors, it still has a light and airy way about it. This project was a flip house that Chip and I worked on and we just completed. And this little study nook is one of my favorite rooms in this house. I think what I really love about it is the idea that this was once just a storage room that had no purpose other than storing boxes, shutting the door, and kind of hiding the mess. What I love about it now is that we've lightened it up we painted the floors, we actually accentuated the vault. So the current vault that's here was already here because this was attic space. So what I wanted to do was just add a little more character in here, add the shiplap that we ended up staining and distressing, and then we added all these built-ins. All I did was work with the outline of the room, created a built-in little nook, these built-in desks, and this fun little reading nook back here in the corner. 
If you have a room in your house that you want to make more purposeful, livable square footage, work with the outline that you have, create unique built-ins, and if you have a vault, think of ways that you can accentuate and highlight the cool things about the space.